Welcome to Dread Knight build, you scary bastards. This is more of a roleplay custom companion build than anything else, but it is still quite powerful and can do nasty damage. It is multi-class build between Cavalier and Hell Knight, inspired by one of my favorite units called Dread Knight from Heroes of Might and Magic 3. So in the end we get character that can frighten enemies with ease and score some nasty critical hits. Dread Knight is in no way fully optimized build, but it is fun and powerful nonetheless. Class we start with is Gendarme Cavalier because it gives bonus feats that are desperately needed. Since this is Death Knight, our only undead option is Dampir. God damn, I hate that name. Best fit would be Rushi because of strength and mobility bonus. Background River Kingdom's Daredevil that increases mobility further and helps a bit with defending attack of opportunities, which might occur charging and riding around battlefield. Abilities should look something like this. Charisma is great for intimidation checks and Hell Knight Smite Chaos. Strength is primary ability. Intelligence is needed at 12 ideally to get enough skill points for all that we need. Starting with it at 11 is enough as one point will be added later to make it even. Skills are important for this build. Athletic bonus can be added to charge attack damage with special boots. Mobility check is rolled every round when mount would take a hit and if check succeeds mount doesn't take damage. Persuasion is for intimidation purposes. Two points into knowledge arcana are needed for Hell Knight prestige class. Starting off with weapon focus scythe and order of the sword. Thanks to viewer Dark Cloud for pointing out order of the sword damage potential that adds mount strength to charge damage. Bonus feat Life Dominant Soul to get it out of the way because vampires are easier to play with this feat. Alignment needs to be lawful to unlock Hell Knight, your choice when it comes to being good, bad or ugly, I mean neutral. Gendarme 11 levels first to unlock Mighty Charge which expands threat range of wielded weapon and allows performing of bull rush and trip automatically when charge attack hits. Sight is focused weapon because it resembles Dread Knight weapon a bit, even though in Heroes of Might and Magic 3 they used some kind of sickle, but that wouldn't work here. Much more cool decapitating enemies with sight and frightening everyone with it. Another reason why I went with sight is because Dread Knight unit is known for critical hits and sight has highest multiplier that we can take even further. For that improved critical sight is needed which doesn't stack with mighty charge, expanded threat range, but unlocks improved critical mythic that adds times 1 to multiplier, which means every crit that happens is gonna be multiplied 5 times now. After 11 levels into gendarme, hell knight leveling starts. Order of the chain to increase combat maneuver bonus and combat maneuver defense. Hell Knight removes armor check penalty, unlocks smite chaos, increases will saves and unlocks helpful disciplines like fearsomeness that frightens enemies instead of shaken and onslaught that can briefly increase strength for that little extra while charging. Must have mythic feats and abilities, any means necessary, mythic charge, mythical beast, weapon focus scythe, improved crit scythe, power attack, flawless attacks. Other abilities can be Unrelenting Assault, Abundance, Might, Last, Stand, Bigger They Are and From Fits, whatever you like. When it comes to Horse, there are a couple of options. Death Touched would be obvious roleplay choice, but it sucks tremendously. Life Dominant Soul Fit isn't available for Undead Pets, so it would be problematic to continuously heal it. 
My favorite choice is Bulwark for this build because of added beefiness. Added horsiness? No clue. However, there are other good choices. Dark Devil adds half his hit dice to mobility checks, which is fantastic. Bully gives additional combat maneuver focus, which works better when horse is not mounted. Don't forget that teamwork feats apply if rider and horse have same feet, so things like outflank and precise strike on both are good options. To unlock those, intelligence needs to be at 3. Besides teamwork oriented ones, you should take feats like die hard, toughness, dodge, barding armor, heavy eventually, weapon focus bite, improved crit bite, typical stuff. Boots of Stampede are fantastic for this build and this is the reason why we went with Athletics. I have no clue where these boots were found, so if you know, please post in comments. Besides that, Belt of Thunderous Charging, which is obtained later but no clue where. Headband that increases charisma helps a lot too. Horses should have Barding Armor and either Necklace of Natural Armor or Amulet of Mighty Fists. Your choice, whether more offense or defense is wanted. Constitution and Strength Belt is good option for Animal Companion too. Alright, so how to play this? First, there is an option to turn on defensive stance for horse. Consider that in tougher encounters, because if four-legged dipshit dies, we are weaker. Attack rolls are okayish against enemies that can't be frightened or shaken, but that is why Smite Chaos and Challenge are here to help with it. Use both versus high AC enemies. Against enemies that can be frightened and shaken, we target flat footed armor instead of normal AC thanks to shattered defense speed. To sum it up, it means more chance to hit. Remember that charging can't be done when character is fatigued. Fatigue can be removed with lesser restoration spell, thankfully. Be warned that charging is a bit buggy and there is not much you can do. Sometimes it just fails. Especially pay attention to smite chaos and turn based mode because for some reason character moves forward automatically after smite chaos has been used. Point of this whole build is to ride, kill and strike fear in enemies and that is what we are good at. Charging can lead to stupid numbers with sight crits such as 1500 damage per charge. Cavalier and Hell Knight work best when focused on single enemy with Smite Chaos and challenge abilities helping in making quick work out of any enemy. Kill, charge, kill, charge, etc. Anyway, that is all. Thanks for watching and see you soon.